Hi, I'm RJ here with Living Room Moments, and I am here with beautiful Sin Cosplay. How are you doing? I'm all right. So, uh, start off, tell us a little about yourself, who you are, where you're from, and who do you cosplay? I'm from, well, I was born in Montgomery, but I'm from Prattville, Alabama, and I moved here three years ago uh, when I got married. And um, I've been cosplaying for seven years, and I've been taking it seriously for almost four years now. So, um, what cosplays do you do? I'm known for doing Medusa mostly. I also do Elisa and Zayako and Catwoman. Those are the other three that I'm known for. Um, and I mean, I have several, but none that really stand out. Well, Jack Frost stands out also, but. Um, those are my main ones, I guess. Okay. And with your cosplay outfits, you make them? Yes, I make all my costumes. What do you make? Catwoman. Catwoman. <laughs> I don't even have to question. I've, I've made it three times now. The first time took me over 80 hours of sewing, just sewing. That's not including making the goggles and uh, painting the ears and stuff. And second run took me about 30 hours and then this trial run took me probably 25 hours but um and that's just making the bodysuit I, I just and and cowl i just wasn't happy with the first two runs of it so this is the third one and i'll be wearing that for dragon con hopefully this will be my last time i make this costume okay. what is your favorite cosplay to do it depends because I love doing Medusa, but only if I get to have my snakes with me. And usually the cons don't allow it. The only convention I've been able to really walk around with the snake is Momocon 2011, where the majority of it was outside, and Dragon Con. But I, I really don't think they noticed me at Dragon Con because of all the people. Um, but. I think the other ones that I really like to do would be Elisa from Pokemon, just because it's so comfortable, and I really like her character, and probably Jack Frost, because I get to mess with the fangirls, and that's pretty fun doing that, so. How did you discover cosplay? I discovered it, well, my friend asked me to do a character, and, because I, I mean, I would dress up for Halloween, but I never really... I've heard of conventions because my mom's a Trekkie, um, but I never really uh, went to one. I, my first one was AWA in 2008, and my friend asked me to be Itachi, so I had a friend of mine's mom make it for me. And even back then, I would worry about small details like having my ring and the necklace and even his net top underneath. So, I mean, I guess that's what started me cosplaying. My friend just asked me to, so... And I really liked it, so I kept doing it. Right. What drives you to cosplay? Why, like, why do you cosplay? I cosplay because um, I'm good at sewing, and it's fun. Um, my friends do it. I get noticed for it. I was never really noticed whenever I was growing up, like at my school or anything. And now I'm well known at the convention, so I think that's what gets me going. And um, People keep asking me to come out with stuff, so I guess it, it's people supporting me also. In the cosplay industry, in the years you've been in cosplay, what has been your biggest struggle, and how did you overcome it? Um, rumors, I guess, and people not liking you because you want to do something a certain way. Um, I do, I'm very particular with my costumes. I don't like things being inaccurate and people see that the wrong way as me not, as me thinking other people should also be that way and I really don't care what other people do. I just want my costumes to be up to my standards because they'll, they'll bother me. If, if I can't do it right, I'll keep doing it. Like my Catwoman, I'll, I'll remake it till I get it right. So. How do you how do you go about choosing a cosplay? Um, usually it's people that like if I watch an anime, I'll look at their costume and I'll look at their personality, because if they're just a boring person but they have a really cool outfit, I wouldn't really want to 
do them. So I guess it's more on personality, if I can relate to the character. Um, how awesome their outfit is is usually just a plus for me. Because I, mean, I, I chose Jack Frost because I really like Jack Frost. And, you know, his outfit just so happened to be easy until I really looked into the detail. And I was like, there's a bunch of detail into this outfit. So it, it just depends, I guess. But it, it's mostly on the character's personality is how I would pick it. Okay. All right. Here's a big question. Um, since I've started uh, in the cosplay world, I notice there's always a lot of negative. There's always in the negativity on the internet. That's got to yeah. that one thing that they just got to get their two cents in. How did have you faced that negativity, and how did you handle it? I face it almost every day. Not necessarily on my page, but people saying stuff like, "Hey, this person said this," and um, you know, like I. I hate that I would get noticed on an outfit just because, like, I'm showing cleavage or something like my Psyco. Like, it, it really gets to me. Like, people don't recognize the work I put into an outfit. If my cleavage is showing, they're just focused on that. And I really don't like that. Um, I mean, I get hate every day with me making sure my cosplays are perfect. People will think the wrong idea a lot that that that's just me I want my cosplays to be perfect I don't necessarily care about everyone else's so I mean if they have fun go for it I, but I can't have fun until my costumes are the way I want them to be so a lot of people hate on me for that so okay. nothing wrong with being perfectionist uh, right. assuming money was not an object time was not an issue what cosplay would you make? The Hayabusa armor from Halo. <laughs> that, that was a little bit too quick of a response. <laughs> uh, because I plan on doing it next year. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> why, 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 why is that your... Why, why? Because I love playing the games with my husband, and that's the outfit that I like the most. I don't see a lot of people doing that one. Um... I, and I, I like a challenge. I know a lot of people have tutorials on how to make a Master Chief helmet. There's not too many out there for a Hayabusa helmet. So I definitely like the challenge, and I want to be unique. So I'll, I'll have, like, my energy sword and a sniper rifle with me, but it's because those are my favorite two weapons. But I just think that I, I really like the design of the armor. So. Right, just, uh, do you have any advice for fellow cosplayers that are just getting into the cosplay world? Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> if you're just getting into it, don't expect it, don't expect your outfit to be perfect on first try. I mean, and, you know, whenever you go to the conventions, ignore the mean comments, you know, and I found myself uh, talking bad about a costume when it was really their very first costume, and they tried to sew it, and then I felt really bad, so... Um, my advice to them would be just, you know, even if they can't sew, even if they want to buy a costume, that's perfectly fine, but I would definitely look into constructing your own costume in some way, whether it's styling the wig or making the shoes or even making the prop yourselves. Um, you know, definitely look into tutorials before you start anything because you're going to save yourself a lot of time and money for it and just ignore the mean comments whenever you go to conventions, because there's going to be some. Uh, speaking of conventions, um, what, what's your convention lineup for the rest of this year? Just Dragon Con and AWA. I might be roped into one more. I hope not, but right now my priority is Dragon Con and AWA. Yay, Dragon Con. I'll be there. Yay. <laughs> it's my first Dragon Con, so I'm like kind of still... I, I'm like... I look at the, the, the countdown. I go to the Icon's website every day, and I see the countdown, and I'm like, oh, oh my god. It is 24 days. <laughs> so, like, it's my first big con. So, like, I've been to MobyCon, uh, SochiCon, and Fandom Con, which are all, like, MobyCon's the biggest con I've been to. So, yeah. like, dra I'm, I'm, like, Dragon Con, and I'm, like, I'm, I'm a very sheltered country boy. Never really been in the big city too much. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have a ball at Dragon Con. <laughs> but all right, 
at this time, is there anybody you would like to say thank you to or give a shout out to? Yes, there are several big name cosplayers. I mean, there's three that I would like to mention, and there are a few um, less less noticeable ones that definitely had an influence on me. Um, my my top three idols are Jessica Negri, Nicole Marie Jean, and Bethany Maddock, and all three of them have been an extreme inspiration to uh, my cosplays. They push me to want to be better and to be as good as they are. Um, as far as local cosplayers, um, definitely Betsy. She's always been nice, and she's a really good seamstress role model. She can whip something out in a day, and I'm like, how do you do that? <laughs> um, and my best friend Karen, she's a musical cosplay. She's been with me from the very beginning, um, and you know, I've I've been there for her since her beginning of cosplay, and. Uh, we've we've been extremely close, so definitely those two chicks. Okay, well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you would like to add? Not, not really. Okay. All right. Well, I'm RJ from Living for the Moments, and this is Beautiful Sin Cosplay. Signing off till next time. Bye.